All right, moving on. The second thing is extraction. Extraction of metals is super important for industry. I'll give an example. Ki kitna important ye reaction hai. Aad say 200 years back or even 250 years back, if you were invited as a guest by the king of France, Napoleon, and you were a regular guest, so wo aapko bahut jar, king hai wo France ka, theek hai, or dictator tha wo. So wo kya karta? Wo aap, aap agar uske bahut achhe guest hai na, wo aapko gold ki plateon mein khana khilayega. Lekin agar aap uske bahut zyada important guest hai na, to aapko gold ki plate khana nahi dega wo. Can you guess, koon si aasi cheez hai, jo gold se bhi zyada precious hai, aap se 250 years back, in the year 1800. Jis mein wo aapko khana denge. As a sign of respect. Gold is very important. Interestingly, at that time, diamond was not valuable. Nahi samjha jata. Or it, on, it is only like a previous hundred years that diamond ko bahut zyada logon ne value kiya. Wo bhi marketing ki wajah se, uh, Hollywood ke actresses ko aur school teachers ko logon ne, jo diamond companies thi, unhone pay kiya tha, taake bachon ke dimag mein daale ki diamond is very valuable. Especially jo लड़कियों के बोर्डिंग स्कूल्स थे वहां के टीचर्स को उन्होंने कहा था कि आपने लड़कियों के दिमाग में ये डालना है सो दिस वाज अ होल मार्केटिंग कैंपेन बाय दिस बिग डिबियर्स डायमंड कंपनी अदरवाइज डायमंड हैज नथिंग नथिंग मेक्स इट प्रेशियस इट इज नॉट वैल्यूएबल इट इज नॉट आई मीन इट कैन बी वैल्यूएबल बट इट्स नॉट रेयर इट्स जस्ट अनदर रॉक एनीवेज सो उस वक्त डायमंड को वो मार्केटिंग कैंपेन नहीं हुई हुई थी एट दैट टाइम एल्युमिनियम was way more valuable than iron. Aluminum. Aaj sandwich kharidne jau na, wo aluminum mein wrap ho ke aapko milta hai. How is it ke aluminum which is more valuable than gold at that time, aaj wo hum usko as a tissue paper bhi use kar lete hai for wrapping food and all of that. It is the power of electrolysis. Aluminum is the most abundant metal on earth. I think 8% ke kareeb humare paas aluminum hai, jo zameen ke jitne ores hai unme. So, hua ye, ke at that time pure aluminum milta nahi tha. Because you know, aluminum is very reactive, it has a layer of oxide. To agar wo kahin pe bhi hoga, wo layer bana lega oxide ke pure aluminum aapko milega nahi. And at that time, people had no idea ke pure aluminum ko kaise nikalte. Kyun? Problem kya hai? Aluminum or iron. In dono me dekho far ki hai ke aluminum or iron ke beech me carbon hai. Carbon is more reactive than iron. To agar kahin pe iron oxide hai na, mein usko carbon se react karunga, to kya hoga? Carbon will displace iron and give carbon dioxide. To ek tarah se I am able to get a pure iron out. But aluminum is more reactive. So, if aluminum oxide go my carbon se reaction karaunga, kuch bhi nahi hoga. Because carbon is not able to displace it. So, at that time, people only know of this method. Or ye method to matlab, we know it prehistoric times se. Aaj hum blast furnace mein hi karte hain, lekin us time pe to matlab, kisi bhi smelting mein ya kisi bhi chhoti chhoti furnaces mein kar sakte the. Ye process kisi ko nahi aata dunia mein. Q, carbon is less reactive than aluminum. So we need a method to separate aluminum from oxide ions. And that's where electrolysis comes in. Solid aluminum oxide does not have free ions. Nahi hoga. But first you melt it. So sabse pehle usko melt karna. Aluminum oxide. Of course, aluminum oxide is ionic compound. Very strong bonds. Very high melting point. So what do we do? We add cryolite. Cryolite is added. Q. Acts as impurity to lower melting point. So it's say energy cost save. And secondly, it acts as a lubric acts as a solvent. 
which means it dissolves more aluminum oxide. So cryolite, we add it. By the way, cryolite at this time is one of those substances in the world which are on the risk of running out. So if cryolite will run out of it, then we will have to find a new method. Because we have used it so much. Okay. Now, what will the step next? We have to do aluminum to electrolysis. So electrolysis ke liye we need something that is more reactive than aluminum. Otherwise, that will be the problem. If it is gold, it will gold discharge and copper. Because it is less reactive. Aise. So we need something that is... If something is less reactive than aluminum, then it will discharge hogi, aluminum. Ko karne nahi degi. So we cannot use copper electrodes. Se. So we use graphite ke electrodes. And we use a lot Because we want to speed up the process. We will join kar denge with a uh, positive charge. और नेगेटिव चार्ज हम देंगे इस कंटेनर की साइड्स को अब क्या होगा अब कंटेनर की साइड्स हो गई हैं कैथोड और ये सारे हो गए हैं एनोड नाउ लेट्स सी द एनोड एंड कैथोड आर बोथ ग्रेफाइट सो दे विल नॉट रिएक्ट Okay, so graphite electrodes. Remember, graphite does not react at low temperature. It reacts at high temperatures. And we have just melted it. Temperatures are really high. So graphite can still react. So now you have aluminum ions. You have oxide ions. What will happen? Simple. Aluminum will gain electrons, make aluminum. And oxide will lose electrons, make oxygen gas. Now, where will oxygen gas go? On your anode. And where aluminum go? On cathode. So basically, cathode is the whole sides. So here, aluminum will be made a layer of aluminum. And here, you will be made bubbles of oxygen gas. Now, these bubbles of oxygen gas at high temperature can react with carbon. So, this is another thing that happens afterwards. Carbon reacts with oxygen, but carbon dioxide will be You will see that these are rods are They've literally converted to gas. So, then you need to bring more in. And these are very big. I saw it once when I saw a picture in which there was a guy who was standing inside a tank like this. Uska kaat takriban itna tha. The rest of it was simply that huge. So these rods, they need to be replaced. So that is something we need to know. That anodes are periodically replaced. And of course, there's a huge carbon dioxide, carbon footprint of this process. Because the environment ko carbon dioxide nuksan hai if it is more than the required amount. So we are releasing a lot of carbon dioxide. But this process made sure that aluminum, which gold is more valuable, tha, wo aaj hum kaha uski value aur kaha use karte. Of course, it's very, very useful. I'm not saying that it's wrong. But it's the power of a simple process. So that is what we do using electrolysis, extraction of metals and not just aluminum. Now we can do any metal in the world of extraction. Aluminum is just an example. You have to do sodium. You have to do the electrolysis of sodium. You have to do the sodium. You have to do the magnesium oxide of electrolysis. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Aluminum oxide comes from bauxite. Bauxite has Al2O3. We don't need to go into the detail that Bauxite may say aluminum oxide kaise nikalte. But uh, if you have that green book, I think Prescott is the writer. So uh, usme iski detail hai ke Bauxite mein se kaise aluminum nikalte. But you don't need to study that. Yes, sir. 
सर हम लोगों का ये जो जितने भी एक्सट्रैक्शन करनी होती है ये मोल्टन में होती है ये लिक्विड एक्वस में दोनों में होती है सर एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ मेटल्स वेरी वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन हेयर द थिंग आवर गोल इज टू गेट अलूमिनियम आउट इमेजिन अगर हम इसमें वाटर ऐड कर देंगे तो क्या होगा जैसे ही आपने वाटर ऐड किया तो पहली बात यह कि बहुत ज्यादा टेम्परेचर वाटर ने स्टीम बन के उड़ जाना है बट सेकेंडली दूसरी बात यह है कि आपके पास एल्यूमिनियम और ऑक्साइड के अलावा अब हाइड्रोजन एंड हाइड्रोक्साइड आइंस भी आ जाएंगे सो so, इन दोनों में कौन डिस्चार्ज होता है द लेस एक्टिव वन सो ये डिस्चार्ज होगा एल्यूमिनियम जो है वो वहीं पड़ा रहेगा ये बाहर निकल जाएगा सो यू विल एंड अप मेकिंग हाइड्रोजन गैस वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैट सर तो हमारे पास मोल्टन में ज्यादा रिएक्शन होंगे जितनी चीजें हाइड्रोजन से ज्यादा रिएक्टिव है उनके लिए हम मोल्टन करेंगे ओके okay, सर